Doesn't he know you do a radio show every day at this hour? Uh, he is, you know, his mind. I know. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> I know, that's why I'm sitting in this chair. So. <laughs> <clears throat> That set up before the show ends. Huh? Is he gonna get that set up before the show ends? <laughs> <laughs> that was a neat thing, though. All right, all right. Good morning, y'all. This is Liz, Life with Liz, here on WSMN 1590 AM. 95.3 FM. You can see us live streaming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, 11 a.m. to noon Eastern on my YouTube channel. And that's about it. Uh, you can hear us at WSMN.live. Um, you can ask Alexa, you know, she to play WSMN. You know, she'll comply. Uh, it will comply. And by the way, if I would just love to get more people um, texting a howdy to 603-665-0495 and you'll know what's going on with me with my shows. I don't send out a lot of texts by the way so you're not risking that. I know we all get a lot of texts. So anyway, welcome to Wednesday morning. You know what? It is Open Line Wednesday. We could take some calls. They would have to be very quick because we, meaning we as in Steve McDonald and Skip Murphy howdy, uh, have howdy. a what? Howdy, howdy. Had a rabbit <laughs> have a rockin' show today, and they don't even know what it's about. But um, uh, but I do, ha ha, nanny nanny. And so you know, um, I'm so grateful because guess what? These guys have, and I I I, I let y'all know yesterday that today is my last day on the radio, and so um, I'm having two of my favorite guests in studio to wish me well. Steve, she likes me finally. The last day <laughs> the she finally decides day. to like me. So thank y'all <laughs> for coming down today again. Of course. Just, yeah, yes. just, uh, you know, you, you, you should feel good. That's kind of an honor. So i got to find something to do on the fourth Wednesday of every month. Ah, uh, we can work on that. Okay. Yeah, no, no, don't worry. We'll just call this you up is, and we'll talk about this. This is not... <laughs> <laughs> This yes, is remember not what my pronouns are, your royal majesty and highest ma uh, excellency. Thank you. Oh, oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it'd be really good if you'd sit down. But you don't have to. You can stand there the whole time, Skip. Once I'm done setting up the camera because I couldn't find parking around here. Oops. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I got, uh, be 11, we are in Nashua. So. Okay, oh, yeah. okay, moving on. All right, so um, I have entitled today's... Um, show if you uh, you know get my text message you know uh that we are rocking with the grok today and we have steve murphy <laughs> i did it again on purpose a little bit i thought i thought i thought you know what i'm gonna do that i actually posted almost posted it that way when i put this out but on facebook blah blah but you know okay we have skip murphy steve mcdonald and we're going out with a bang today um and this is sort of i i kind of want to look at this as a celebration of four years on wsmn and we're gonna go we're gonna uh, y'all are perfect for this because i thought Let's go out with a bang, okay? Uh, yeah. I've got artillery waiting. I know you do. I know y'all do. Okay, but let's uh, begin, if, and, and I know you'll be happy to do this, right, Skip? Is I want to begin with the Grok Pack, as in P-A-C, right? So who wants to take that ball and go with it? I want to hear about quickly, because time is a wasting, but I want to hear about the Grok Pack. His most excellent majesty will handle that. <laughs> <clears throat> I've trained him well. <laughs> yes, Slash <Rock>. Sark. <laughs> we have for years been writing and talking about stuff. Yep. Now, we're going to do stuff to all the right people, because they're wrong people. We ha I have registered Grok Pack, and the official registration actually says one of the U.S. Marines' unofficial motto, no better friend, no worst enemy. And we're going to be starting off with a couple of bangs. 
come at the beginning of November, mm. and 65,000 households are going to know about us. Will I be one of them? Um, well, we're going to enroll you. Uh, We've got a sniper rifle for you to use. Uh, I've got something for you to do. Oh, okay. Something yeah. special. Okay. Because I'm you, special. Yes, you yeah, are special. If you, okay. want, if you want to be, you want to be involved, you have to do whatever that says. And you have no. Okay. Okay. All right. I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I asked I'm yesterday. I'm the vice president of the pack. I do know. I know very little, but I know. <laughs> I know that, and I know what this is. Okay. So. And okay. I'll just make the illusion that this first big bang. Mm -hmm. uh, What's it called? The mother of all bombs, Moab? Is <laughs> <laughs> concerning pornographic books that are available to school children in public school libraries. There are going to be some upset people come fairly soon, and that's about all I'm going to say about that piece. But the sniper rifle, if you could pass that to her, mm -hmm. since you will to have her Liz. Her <coughs> Liz. Liz. Okay. Okay. So that is a right to know. Since you said you want to get involved in your school, mm -hmm. I want to know what's going on in Bedford. I, you know, don't well, know a lot. The payload is mm -hmm. you're going to be requesting their entire card catalog. Should we be airing this, or is it supposed to be a surprise? Oh, there's a lot of people who have already been yeah. surprised. Oh, okay, so we'll okay. see. Okay. And we're close enough. Okay. This, this same right to know has gone out to at least a handful of libraries in New Hampshire. Fif and Fifteen school districts so far, and that's just my test case. Ah, okay. Okay, cause so keep going. All right. So so, so this is y'all want to know what is this? This is just saying y'all we want to know what they've got going in their library. Is that correct? Or? Yeah. The, the translation is you got to fork it over. Mm. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Very if you good. Run, and if you run into trouble, I've got lawyers. Mm. Okay, I like this. This will be fun. I have time on my hands. And you might need no. them because the districts are a little. Mm. Um, Oh. Grumpy. Grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> bit, a bit they defensive. Have, they have, I mean, you can access the stuff mm -hmm. online. They have yeah. downloadable apps. I yeah. mean, it's all electronic, but they don't want to send you the file. Except they, they just think I'm looking for specific books. I have other plans for the entire card catalog. Okay. So, okay. we'll see. So, Is that's that's it. number one? Mm -hmm. and that's number one. Grok Pack's yeah. got a couple of other little projects going on okay. as well. And, uh, you don't want to share? Uh, not just yet. Not just yet. Not okay. just yet. But there is a certain political action committee up my way that's not going to be too happy either. Okay. All right. Okay. So that is that, right? And so there's some mailers going out. Maybe there's some, yeah, as well. They're going out when? November 1? Yeah, starting around Ish, there. Ish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's good. And you, I know you don't want to share, you, uh, you don't want to share much about what's on those mailers, <clears> do you? Um, it's a surprise. Mm -hmm. um, I expect loud screams. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be hauled off to prison? No. Okay. To jail. Well, I mean, assuming they don't. A get... lot of people in this state get hauled off to jail for a lot of no reasons. We That's know this true. happens. That's true. So I'm sorry. I'll bail you out if you have to be bailed out. And now we okay. have it on video. Yeah, yeah, yeah just say it. She's going to bail me I, out. I, I, just say it. If you have to be bailed out, because we know this happens in New Hampshire to, you know, pretty innocent people, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm innocent. Hey. Too. <laughs> See, she complimented me. She called me innocent. That's like twice. <laughs> okay, and amen, we're not going to go any further with that. But. Trying to get into radio heaven. <laughs> but okay. uh, we're right. also going after other <coughs> candidates on Granite Rock, okay. so they're, they're not too happy either. Okay. He did spur one to pick up where he had not left off because he didn't bother to start in the first place. Sure. Uh, Tim Magoo out of Merrimack. Oh, I see that sign everywhere. Yeah. It's well, Magoo? Magoo. That's it's how you say Magoo, it? It's not Magoo. It's Magal, but everybody calls him Magoo. <laughs> well, I was told Magoo. Oh, okay. That's what they call him. They okay. call him Magoo. Okay. Yeah, right. he... So. he uh, what? You know, Mr. Magoo. It was brought to my attention, and then I went to the Secretary of State to check. Um, he's spending a whole lot of money that he's not reporting on the official finance uh, forms that candidates or PACs are supposed to put in. Mm -hmm. Note to self, skip, make sure you do this right. It's mm -hmm. a lot of money, too, and, and wow. we can't rightfully go after Democrats for this if we don't do it to Republicans, especially when it's this much money. Uh -huh. So it really matters that... Okay. 
everybody do what they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, Magoo so. is. I'm sorry. He's a Republican, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. I town. thought so. I thought so. He's I running to be one of my reps. Ah. Okay. Yeah. We got a lot of money because he's got a lot of big <laughs> signs. But yeah. Anyway. So far, because yeah. he's behind, he's reported income of about five thousand dollars, but has spent twenty one thousand dollars. <gasps> Oh, for a hundred dollar a year position. Wow. So Very the question is, okay. where do we follow the money? Because mm. you don't spend that kind of money just to be a house rep. I don't care whether it's a, an obsession of yours to, you know, get a special license. And this plate is him. This isn't like some of these mm. races where you have third parties spending money on a special election. And, and th this is just very odd. So okay, okay, we're curious. Okay, very. So y'all are on that, right? So that's a machine gun. You've got the sniper rifle. <laughs> I already launched the artillery. This is a machine gun. <laughs> okay. You said you wanted bangs. No, no, this is good. We're not even close to that yet. You're this is very calm, and you know, and and you know, we're we're gentlemanly and womanly here. I can drink some can, sugar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that will so, open up. All right. So okay. So. Uh, Steve McDonald, uh, Skip Murphy, Granite Grok with the K.com are in the house with me this morning, um, um, helping me wrap up my four years here on the radio WSMN. And um, I tell you, we were we started with a little bit talking about local elections real quickly because there's a couple other places I really want to go. Is there anywhere else y'all would got to go with local elections, um, oh, as in state, our state? Is why I think is best. Um, any comments? Any feet, you know input relative to anything that's going on? Let me start. Okay. So um, <laughs> you know what? Um, I um, uh, let me. I'll be kind to start with. Okay. And so we have a general. Brigadier General Don Bolduck, right? He won that primary. For, uh, in my opinion, to some degree, it's absolutely miraculous and meant to be, okay? And I say this because he didn't have the support and backing, and yes, they say they're supposed to be neutral during these primaries, but we know that's untrue, as in the NHGOP and the National GOP, right? We know stove stuff goes on behind <coughs> the scenes. And he was not the crowned candidate. We know that Chuck Morris was. And, you know, they can say no, but in fact, in my opinion, it was true. So, but oh my goodness, the Brigadier General Don Bolduc prevailed, did he not? There were a lot of very upset people, I would presume, including Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. I don't think he was happy. Um, and so I think that there was monies coming that were now that he, uh, General Bolduc won, uh, coming in potentially or were, I don't know what the status was, coming into I, the I state. Have the numbers. I just okay. About okay. okay, okay. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> state my case and I'll let y'all quickly throw in some details, right? Because I, I look at things, you know, and you've got details in your head. Yeah, okay. I just, just happened yeah. to look at it today. So. Yeah. Oh, you did, did you? Okay, so the NR, the National Republican Senate, it's NRSC, yep. okay, uh, was coming in here, and they were going to support uh, our, the general with money. It's important, you know, it's helpful to have money. But then, for some reason, which I, I you could surmise lots of reasons, they pulled out last Friday, old it, Hold it. Okay, you can correct me, but my understanding is that <laughs> they pulled well, we out. Wanna be, we want to be uh -huh. correct. Okay, they pulled out, um, and I, I, I believe the information was out there that they were pulling out because uh, it was uh, the monies were going to other uh, to other places, including Alaska to Murkowski. Okay, so we're going, I am going, what the heck is that? She's a Democrat, essentially, um, but she is not, uh, she's endorsed by them, and her opponent, who is a Republican, too, which I don't quite understand, Alaska's different, don't, don't jump in, y'all, I know y'all understand it all, but it's a Trump-endorsed candidate, and so I think, my opinion, she is a Trump-endorsed <clears throat> candidate, her opponent, and um, I believe that uh, little Mitch, little Mitchy, got upset with a lot of stuff, I'm and... A Mitch. <laughs> and uh, you know, said screw this. I'm gonna you know bank on somebody else because we know the general is not a you know establishment kind of guy. And um, so, but they're back. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Go. Okay, so 
Um, in the primary, and I think this is accurate, Democrats spent more money on helping General Bullock win than anybody else. Okay. $2.4 million they spent to, wow. get to win, because they thought it'll be easier to beat than that Morse that guy. Chuck Morse, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, uh, the actually the Senate, uh, it, McConnell's Senate Leadership Fund, yep. the SLF, is the one that pulled okay. $5.6 million in ads okay. last week. Um, but they have spent $16 million in New Hampshire for the general. So it's not like they just stopped, they just stopped oh, spending that money. They, they moved it to somewhere else. So uh, it would help us a great deal if they continued to spend that. Got it, okay. But they pulled $5.6 million. That's, that's a fact. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, Rick Scott, who is mm -hmm. actually the chairman of the um, Republican Senatorial Committee, yeah. uh, they just bought a million dollars in ads to support the general since... McConnell pulled his money and put it somewhere else. Ah. And his fund has spent, I think, $3 million so far on Bullock. So um, there's definitely, that's a different, I mean, $4.6 million is a lot of money. So there's mm -hmm. a big difference there. Yep. And, and if they're spending it on Murkowski, that's a complete waste of, of <laughs> donations. But, you know, this, they are who they are. Right. And that's just oh, how they're going to be. Okay. But, um, so yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that it's left out, and I don't, Love Mitch McConnell by any stretch. He was good on judges during Trump, but not much else. And so, but they did spend sixteen million dollars in New Hampshire, which is a lot of money. But as you get closer and closer, you know the Democrats aren't going to stop. They're going to keep pouring as much money as mm -hmm. they can spend into whatever they can get on the air. And there's only so many minutes in the air in, in the air to yeah. use, yeah. and you got to buy that time up or it's gone. So okay. Okay. with them pulling out. Um, Democrats will probably just buy the time up, which is bad for us. Right, right. Okie dokie. Well, thank you for explaining that, Skip. You got a few short words to add to that. Yeah, Murkowski has endorsed a Democrat in the House race, which is, yeah. Murkowski is running for Senate. Mm -hmm. She, uh, this in Democrat. Alaska, yeah. yeah, so why are they doing this? We don't know. This is why they're called the stupid party. Yeah. And the turtle is now uh, <laughs> called back to Mich 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 Yeah, yeah. Um, so, or cocaine Mitch, there's the other one. Ooh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, we'll, we we'll see. Okay. We'll see yeah. what happens. But he's now within mm -hmm. two points of Hassan. Hassan. I hear that, I hear it's pretty, oh, well, that's, pl you know, that's within the margin of error, right? Correct. So, uh, so we'll so see. It's a, yeah. Not enough if they cheat, but, you know. Yeah. Oh, wow. We'll go there in a minute. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Anything else <clears throat> that y'all would, I see here that, real quickly, I hear that, um, Caroline Levitt got a Trump endorsement, yep. and Bob Burns uh -huh. got a Trump uh, endorsement quickly. And Bolduck oh, got a Sununu endorsement. What? I didn't see who, that. Who? Wait, back up. What? I'm pretty sure I saw it in my Twitter feed this morning. Sununu endorsed Bolduck. But Trump also endorsed Bolduck. Yeah. When? Was when was that? Today. Okay. Oh. Or yesterday. Or was it yesterday? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, my. Okay, bottom line. Wow, this is all happening very quickly, isn't it? Yes. You know, so um, what do y'all quickly think about these, in, let's say, Trump endorsements? Sununu, I have no respect for whatsoever, so I don't even want to discuss him because my head will explode because I am one of those, oh, let me see, Alu Axelman. Um, they have a movement it's like, you know, I've got my Never Beto on. Mm -hmm. We talked about that yesterday on, on my Texas show, because Never Beto O'Rourke, who's going up against another non-favorite of mine, uh, Greg Abbott. Um, but we won't go there. And um, so, but there is a movement uh, here in New Hampshire to, uh, any. it's called Anyone, anyone But Sununu. And I don't know if y'all knew of that. But anyway, we'll leave that at that. What's your thinking on the Trump and endorsements here in New Hampshire. He's got a fantastic batting average. He's like <clears throat> close to 300 wins and about 25 losses. Okay. And, you know, there, uh, there have been people here in the state that say, oh, it doesn't matter wh who he endorses. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when you've got that many people and you've gotten it right so many times, mm -hmm. um, he's, he's a better prognosticator than anybody else I have ever known about. Okay. All right. Anything about, from you, no, Mr. Well, Steve obviously Obama? the Democrats will try to make it a negative of course. thing. Yeah. Um, but Trump won the primary in 2016 in New Hampshire with record turnout because independents registered to vote for Trump. And while the Democrats are just head over heels about abortion, a majority of people are concerned about the economy. <laughs> and 
Trump's economy was good, mm -hmm. so I think that. But this is Trump's fault. You know that, oh, right? Trump's yeah, fault. everything. It, it's him and Putin, I got right? By, everything. I got bit by a tick last week. That was Trump's. Yeah, fault. yeah, everything um, is. So, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. This uh, rain. Everything. It's either <clears throat> him or Putin. Right. Poutine. Oh, it's Putin. Poutine. Poutine is up in Canada. P O U T I N A. It's delicious. Too. It, do you like that junk? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Freeze of my yeah. arteries. Okay. <laughs> More? <laughs> okay. Well, probably. We don't know yet. All righty. Okay. Well, let's leave uh, move ahead then. Is that all right? And we, I'm not asking y'all anything. I'm moving ahead. Sure, show. Here on Life with Liz, we have um, uh, in studio, we've got uh, Steve McDonald and. Uh, Skip Murphy, I got that right, of GraniteRockWithKate.com. It's about time. I know. <laughs> I do think it's funny, though, when you call me it Steve is, Murphy. It is not funny at all. It um, really <clears throat> pains me a lot. Well, that's the name I send because... out to Democrat email lists. And that's, oh. So I always know, you know where, the, where the name gets tracked to. So it is kind of amusing. Okay. But well, you're using the same name that the Democrats are. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're trying to knock me off track here, and I'm burning up in here. I don't know if y'all are hot. Take, Take, your, warm, yeah. Take your sweater off. I'm not going to do that. I'm the sweater host. You know, this sort of the, the, that's what I do. It's just I didn't expect this kind of heat. Fashion before discomfort. Yes. Do you know anything? I know. No. I'm an engineer of uh, fashion. Well, if it was fashion before word. discomfort, these freaking things would be gone. Because you know how much time I spend on this hair in the morning that gets crushed? Okay. I don't. But no. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Sorry. You're okay. asking the wrong time. All righty. Moving on. Now, um, Art, I think where I want to go. Okay. So because I said a bang. Y'all banged it a little bit. But let's, <clears throat> I want to go to two places before I throw y'all out of here. Okay. Um, one is I want to talk the Wuhan vi virus a little bit. I would love to talk the ivermectin hoax which is not i would love to talk about the wuhan virus poison shot um i would like to talk all of this right um about what's left in all of that wuhan virus stuff that's, oh, a, that's, lot. that's, that's a lot so 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 we we are going to do this in a nutshell because i want to make sure that we you know at this level cover and i know steve we've been you write a ton about this stuff the shots the virus and more relative to this mess, right? Well, yeah, the new news was the 24 states that already have laws that basically told the CDC, you know, we're not vaccinating our children. Back. Are we one? We are, yes. Okay. We actually have a law that prohibits a mandate for vaccinated children to attend school. Very good. It's in line. They passed it last year. Last year. Yeah. Ah, very 649 good. 649 one or something. I don't, I don't remember. Okay, number. okay. I want y'all to hear this. <laughs> and um, I'm going to, uh, you know, let you know that this is from a podcaster. Um, his name is Tony Lin, L-I-N. And he's a little tough to understand. I think he is... I, 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 I think he's Japanese, but he could be, no, I, I imagine he's Chinese. He's a YouTuber. He has 49, almost 50,000 subscribers. This um, video, and we're only going to play the front end of it, is entitled Brain Bleeding and Myocarditis Study from Oxford for People Under 40 Relative to the Poison, sh the Wuhan Virus Poison Shot. This woman is in Trinidad and Tobago. You can actually, I'll, I'll put the link up there. I want you to hear this woman, okay? He'll talk for a moment and then listen to this woman real quickly. Oh, he's not talking. Okay. No, no, keep going, keep going.
Yes, they have to cut that. <coughs> So you catch the drift here. Now you can go to, um, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll put the link out there. Um, and I moved ahead quickly here to this shot because that's where we are today. You know, we could have backed up to talk about, well, I think, and if y'all want to, okay, Liz, keep going, you keep it straight, to the origination of the Wuhan virus and who is responsible for this besides Dr. Fauci, but also um, the ivermectin <coughs> hoax, they call it a hoax, which it is not, but then, um, you know, we also have the shot. Um, and so with that said, I tell you what, briefly, I'm gonna, I, I want y'all to express your thoughts briefly about the <laughs> origination of the Wuhan virus, looking back now, and people will say, well, you know what, um, looking back is, you know, hindsight type thing. However, a lot of us knew something was up, and we got canceled a lot during those times as well, did we not? Lots of us. So, Skip, yes. uh, elders <laughs> first. So, um, how... <laughs> How about you go and talk about uh, the origination of the virus and out of Wuhan? Well, there were always three things. One, did it come out of a cave inhabited by bats? Did it was it uh, progenited? No, that's that's not the right word. Did it come out of the wet market that's in Wuhan mm -hmm. uh, from somebody eating what they call field meat? Um, Which is a lie. It, that, that's not true. They said scientifically that's not even possible. <clears throat> well, that was but, one of the things yes, that were go, was going right. on. Or did it come out of the bio lab, the lab <clears throat> that uh, was located in Wuhan? Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of discussion about that and a lot of anti-discussion that goes on. And to this day, I don't think that we know. I think that the needle keeps moving from, yes, bio lab, no bio lab, certainly the nation of China, the communist Chinese say, no, 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 we're blaming it on the U.S. Army or something mm -hmm, stupid mm -hmm. like that. And, you know, we haven't been able to get to the bottom of it. But we won't. We're going to move on. We won't. We won't. But what we yeah. do know is that my alma mater, Boston University, took the Wuhan mm -hmm. virus and played with it some more to where it's very lethal. They modified the, the gain of function so that it is more lethal and killed 80% of the mice that it that they and that's very recent, right? That, yeah. that came mm -hmm. out last week. Yeah. And why the heck, this comes to the phrase, even if you can do it, should you be doing it? And I'll stop there. There you go. There you go. What say you, Steve McDonald? Well, we know that the U.S. government, through the NIH or NIAID or somebody yeah. was <clears throat> excuse me, paying for gain-of-function research on SARS viruses. So there's that in Wuhan. Um, and so, I mean, that... I mean, either that's real and it happened, and I, I don't know that I've ever really looked at the numbers, or that's, in this age, just something they planted out there so right-wingers would talk about it and look crazy. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of that going on. you got to watch out for that stuff, okay. and you'll see it, you know, because mm -hmm. some people share everything, yeah. you know, and, and anything that comes down the pipe. And we get tons of stuff like this. Yeah. And early on, we were getting stuff. We got the U.S. Army story. Uh, the email from somebody and the six billion word thing that I got that I received and I'm like ah, all right that's a <laughs> that's a stretch right now let's wait and see what happens so um, okay given where we are now yeah the progression of events since then it seems highly likely that it was engineered uh, whether or not they wanted to actually let it out is another question that's right together but um, you know most of these labs level four level five labs they're pretty good about keeping control of that stuff. It seems a little odd to me that right before an election they needed Trump to lose that the whole world fell apart. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about y'all. I don't believe in a lot of coincidences anymore. But anyway, uh, and, and how much did Fauci have to do with that, right? I mean, he was questioned intensely uh, a while back about his part, you know, the role he played relative to gain of function. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, and uh, we got nowhere, right? It's it's under the water of the bridge again. So, you know, is anybody going to be held ever held accountable? No, no, we know this. Do they ever? But you know, here's the thing. Okay, so quickly on this one. So ivermectin. Um, I followed, and y'all did, I'm sure too, and I know you did, Steve. But ivermectin reared its head early, early on, and I and and, and, and I may not have this exactly right, but I know for a fact because I fought in India. India uh, was, I mean, they were um, distributing lots and lots of ivermectin. They had a lot of it, you know, and, and the ivermectin is used all over the world, right? It is, well, not so much here, but in Africa, right? In, uh, it's an it, FDA licensed yes. drug with a human dose and has been for years. Yeah, and very really safe and very, very Arctic safe. Arctic. Right, very yeah, safe, um, and it's been around for 45, 40 something years, right? So it's nothing new. But um, so, what was happening in a country of what one, I don't know, close to two billion people, or what you know, one and a half billion, is man, India was doing very, very well with the virus, right? And um, then, whoever the powers that be are, in the fall of 2020, said, uh oh you will not be distributing this stuff anymore and they shut it down and it exploded in india uh and and i you know my my theory is is the ivermectin was keeping was keeping those numbers down and it's not just there um haiti was having a, a pretty easy job uh, a time of it as well so you know then we know what happens with ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine thank you and, but I want to focus on ivermectin because it comes uh, here, right? I mean, we, last year, our legislature tried to push some legislation to uh, make it available over the counter, right? Basically. Uh, essentially, essentially. And I don't, I think that the governor vetoed, vetoed that, yeah. vetoed that. Okay, so relative to the ivermectin hoax, as they say, which isn't, a hoax, by the way. It's just that, uh, you know, we needed, I believe, Big Pharma needed to not have that out there, I believe, uh, because it does, and it does still make a difference. So, and so we, the, uh, the doctors here, I tried to get some, I know, just in case, just in case, because I thought, you know, and it, it would not prescribe it. Any, like at Dairy Medical Center, for example, this group of doctors, I called and this man was defensive, he was nasty, and he said, nobody in this group will prescribe that to you. And then so I went to the FL, you know, frontline doctors, and I got it. What say you, Mr. Skip, about ivermectin? Um, there were certainly a lot of studies showing that it didn't work, but if you read in the stories, it was being given to those that had really suffered a lot. They were getting near the end of the disease, and unfortunately, it took many of them. Yes. It's the same thing of <coughs> a lot of people died of COVID. <laughs> That's what they, that was written on the death certificate. Right. And it's only been fairly recently when they said, well, did you die of COVID or did you die with COVID? Of, you know, and there were other comorbidities. Know, obesity, high blood pressure, uh, cancer, a lot of other things that could have taken that uh, life, you just happen to have COVID with. So I, I don't think that we're going to have a resolution to it, but it certainly there's anecdotal information that it, it was, uh, and I know, and Steve probably can speak to this more, that there were some studies where it was given early, mm -hmm. and it seemed to have a positive <coughs> yes. uh, result but again, unless you see a bunch of studies peer-reviewed with all the proper methodologies, we're not going to see it. And That's now, right. I think we're a little late. Okay. What say you, Steve? You well, followed this closely. There's plenty of studies, mm -hmm. um, and you're looking at 60 to 80 percent uh, success uh, with people who are who have COVID. Um, and that's just keeping them out of the hospital. I mean, that's just, they can stay home, they don't need any extra care. Doesn't matter what age they are, it works. Um, like you said, it's been around for 45 years. It's a Nobel Prize winning medicine. Um, the most important thing in the debate that you need to understand is that the FDA cannot issue emergency use authorization for a vaccine if there is any viable, less invasive, product available. The FDA licensed ivermectin years ago. 
it's got human doses, it's been used on people, and if you remember the infamous tweet that the FDA sent out when they began to try to snowball this thing and just bury it, they said it was horse medicine. Yes, that's right. And that is an outright lie. Yes, there is a horse medicine version, but they have a licensed version. And in the United States, a doctor can prescribe off use any licensed FDA medicine if they think it'll help their patient. And the doctors in dairy who wouldn't give it to you didn't give it to you because they're terrified that the licensing board would pull their licenses and they wouldn't be able to practice anymore. That's right. That's what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, shall we move on to the poison shot? Um, because, quickly, <laughs> because that comes next, right? And it is still, um, you know, a big deal because our illustrious president took his, I don't know how much boost, you know, booster, how many boosters yesterday, I think. Five. That's his fifth. <clears throat> he got COVID, and I know people, um, of people, of people that have gotten COVID many times, by the way, um, and have had many boost shots. Um, now, for people who haven't, I, I am also hearing that have not had the shots, um, they may or may not get COVID. They do pretty well. And I hear, for the most part, that they don't get it again. It's very interesting. How so? The poison shot that all of these folks said you wouldn't get COVID if you're vaccinated. Uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci, President Joe Biden, Rochelle Walensky, who's CDC director, Rachel Maddow, Bill Gates, and uh, Albert Borla, Pfizer CEO. And I won't, I, I have even exactly what they each said that if you get vaccinated, you will not get this virus. Okay. For but, about three weeks. Yeah, but Boy, we did do. that story change. Boy, did that story change because VAERS, and I'm going to let y'all talk, I promise, VAERS, the, uh, what is it, what does that stand for? Vaccine, uh, it's just um, adverse reaction. Adverse yeah. reaction system. 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 So, Which used to be the gold standard. Well, I, like it is. So I have, a, I have, you can't see it, but I got a graph here. It's been around for, I can't see the number. A long time. A long time, many, many years. So, and it was utilized, right, mm -hmm. in terms of new vaccines that, or vaccines ongoing and, and the adverse reactions relative to these vaccines. And the graph is flat. <laughs> it, it, there's just, you know, relatively small. I, I'm sure there have been, you know, adverse reactions until the the uh, Wuhan virus shot. And now the reporting, which is they say is at least, is very, very understated because it's manually put out there. And yes, there could be, you know, BS in there too. Uh, they're at 2.33307 million adverse reactions, 31.5 million deaths. That's just the U.S. too. That is just the U.S., exactly, as of October 14th. So they're still trying, and we know, we absolutely know, that this is not complete. Okay? Oh, it's very incomplete. Yeah, and we know there could be some BS in there, too. Of course, there are okay. about that many. But we know, in fact, we're watching it every day, that, listen to this woman, that people, you know, are dropping dead, um, essentially, uh, within some period of time, after one, two, three, four, five boosters. What say you, Steve McDonald? Well, um, theirs was the gold standard for the FDA and the CDC for managing vaccine safety. They threw that out the window because for some reason or other, you figure out what you think it is. They didn't want to stop doing what they were doing. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, uh, I just got an email from somebody who sent me an article that says blindness is now another side effect of the vaccine shots. And, and a number of people have lost their vision entirely after having the vaccinations. We can add that to the list of 1,290 plus side effects that yeah. have been reported. Um, and again, you know, it, it all kind of loops back to the whole, was it released on purpose thing? It, it's gotten so absurd, so out of hand. It almost seems like, the, you know, it's like go big or stay home. You know, let's just, Let's just, I mean, because everything you say, it's like, oh, that's just crazy talk. And it sounds crazy. It really sounds crazy that, that your country would work with a foreign power that hates you to release a virus on the world, and then, and, and it kills all these people, and then the cure kills them too. Yeah. And then you think about it, 
and what is the WEF and all the New World Order people, which is also crazy talk, they're all talking about depopulation. They're all talking about too many people on the planet. It's just ludicrous to think these things aren't connected somehow. I mean, and I get crazy stuff from all kinds of people, and I'm like, man, that's too crazy. But then the next thing you know, it's like, oh, maybe it's not so crazy. It's like wiping out how many millions of elderly people. And I, and I don't mean, even in the state, right? In our state. I'm just waiting for Logan's run. You know, you <laughs> hit 30 years old. They, <laughs> you're going to heaven. Oh, no, they're killing you. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what. Um, okay, um, They won't skip. even let you eat that. you got to eat bugs. <laughs> and you have to say it like that. You're going to say bugs. <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking at all my articles here because I know you've done a bunch, uh, Steve, on this. I've done so uh, many. I can't oh even Oh, my keep track. God. So you're kind yeah. of an authority. But, you know, because I think that, like you, you know, you, this, this can't be coincidence. There's too many pieces you know, just, that It link. plays so well into yeah. the culture yes. or my perception of the culture of the left. Yes. You know, it's all about control. I've always said they have to control energy. They have to control public health because then they get, then they have your power supply and your body yep. and education the banks, and right? education and they all your money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you have those three things, you can make people do whatever you want. That's right. Right. And that's what they're working on. Yeah. They are literally working on all three of those things as we sit here for the past two years, and um, you know they're going to tell you what where you get your power from, when you can get it, how you can travel, if you can travel. Uh, they're telling you what you must and cannot put in your body. We yeah. already have that. That's a fact. Um, and, and just and now the food supply, right? Yes. Yeah, they're trying to control the food supply. It's right in front of us. And yeah. I understand that there are people who are not like us who, for some crazy reason, wade into this garbage every morning after we get up and, and wake up and do whatever it is we do. And, and they're just like, it can't be. But then I'm like, well, hey, that, that, that's where we get out and do this. We write these stories so that people will share them with other people right. like that. Uh, and, you know, how much weight do you need to hold up before you fall down? Yes. I mean, how much of this does it take? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Skip, you're not answering that question, okay? So, um, <laughs> but, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, wow, no, I know. Look at that more, time, and because well, the thing is, is I'm going to throw y'all out because I'm going to in a minute, in a minute. Um, sorry. Okay, that's all right. Okay. Just remember I have to take the equipment thing first. No, you don't. You can go stand out there while I say my bye byes, right? Yeah, sure. You can. Sure. I hey, y'all are my buddies. Well, we get a water. Or yeah. Well, it's right over there, right? So yeah. okay. The one last thing, and I uh, we do have a clip, but I'm, we don't have time to play it. Is did you see what Hillary Clinton uh, did in the last day, I think it was yesterday actually, with a video uh, stating uh, that the far right extremists, <clears throat> election deniers, you're worried about 2022, right? We, you know, we're looking at 20, uh, just a couple weeks, right? But she puts out this despicable, despicable, horrible, video she it's here um we can, can you play that real uh, just start it just so we can hear her nasty vicious evil disgusting despicable voice sorry
Okay, you can cut her off. All right, so. I'm, I'm on their email list. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. What? Well, what is can... indivisible? I mean, what the heck is that? As in the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. <gasps> Oh, indivisible. indivisible. Oh, yeah. so now we're as, in, as opposed to deplorable. Ah, oh, okay. So now we're turning patriotic, right? I know you got to do your thing, but I got to say this. Yeah, go. The crazy radicals who gave state legislatures that power were our founders, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. and it's in the Constitution, so that's it. That's all I got to say. Okay. And you, Skip, you can say your closing words. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I, I'm livid. I, because of all people, you, who yeah. aren't you sick and tired? Absolutely disgust, sick and tired of seeing. That woman? When will she go away? You had to wait to the end of the show yeah. to play this because mm -hmm. now I know I can't say much. No, you have two minutes. I'll give you two, I'll give you one minutes. I'll give you a, a minute. I mean, Steve's right. We don't elect a president. We have fifty one state uh, races for a president. And that was to make sure that no one state would ever gain more power uh, by just being huge. We talk about California, New York, Illinois, and all the other populous states, Texas and Florida, they could collude and render everybody else's votes immaterial. But that's not how they did it. The founders were brilliant, genius people. Uh, they weren't old. Most of them were very young when they thought this up because they studied the But they history. were white. See, that is a problem. Uh, you know, well, my, my anyways, computer told me that this morning, mm -hmm. but go ahead. Mm -hmm. and anyways, it's, it was a brilliant idea that you had to be so popular across all of the states that that's the only way to get it now here she is a popular vote yeah. the hobby horse of the democrats because they want direct democracy that's what it comes down to we're not and a democracy that's, that's the problem too but we you know they, that's what our founders knew to be the ruin of so many places yes. was a direct democracy yes. that a representative one mm -hmm. was able to cool tempers over a bunch of things that's what the house of representatives is supposed to be and until they remove state, uh, U.S. senators from being elected by state legislatures, uh, we had the state's interest involved in this. The House was supposed to be the people, and the Senate was supposed to be the state's rights. Unfortunately, the progressives screwed it up in the early 1900s. I forget the year. 17th Amendment and 19... 19-teen uh, something or other. 19-teen something, yes. And we've been going downhill ever since. Yeah, yeah. And they do want to wipe out the Electoral College, that's for sure. And now they you want think ranked I, choice voting, which ooh, also yeah. pushes uh, the, the more Democrat stuff. It's not mm -hmm. about the centrist. Because yeah. I haven't seen a Republican yet that has won a ranked, uh, yeah. uh, ranked choice. Isn't that Alaska? System. That is what yeah, Alaska is all about. Now. Yeah, yeah. So, and okay. In Maine. And in Maine as well. Okay. All right. Well, Mr. Skip Murphy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Mr. Steve McDonald, thank you both for joining me today and every month in the last several, especially Steve, because he started and then I brought you along just because I felt sorry for you. He needed a sidekick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't, but it's okay. No, he did not. <laughs> no, he did not. So folks can find y'all at? Granite Rock, G-R-O-K dot com. And uh, wait for the bombshells from the Rock Pack. pack. All one Grok, word. Grok Grok. Can we Google that? Not yet. Yeah, yet. Website okay. isn't up yet. Okay. I didn't know. If, yeah. And is on your site, on your Grok site. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Oh, you so, broke some news here, didn't yeah. you? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> no, thank y'all. Okay, folks. Well, we have about five minutes left. And uh, um, so I just want to, once again express to numbers and numbers of people including y'all how grateful i am for the for you know the time i have had on air here it has just been i will tell you you know a learning experience incredible growth um and as i said yesterday it's just you know for me uh, a person I, I don't know what it's called i'm sure skip knows what it's called when you have an enormous fear of public speaking it has a funky name i was going to get it today you don't no know. Clue. No. There's something you don't know. Okay. So um, anyway, <laughs> all right. But uh, yeah, that's how where I began. Um, and I want to thank. I, I, I'll just backtrack because I want to thank Karen Testerman. One, because without Karen Testerman, um, I wouldn't be here. She actually asked me years ago, four years ago, to jump into her show with Lynn Briggs, and we talked about. Oh my God, we talked about. Um, 
uh, Hanukkah and Christmas, and I was it was horrible, absolutely horrible. I'm going to tell you. I walked away, boom. She asked me three months later, by the way, to come back, which was stunning, and we talked about um, socialized medicine because I lived in Canada. We lived, the, our family lived in Canada prior to coming here to New Hampshire, and in fact, guess what? I know all about socialized medicine because my daughter. And, you know, that's for another time, again, to share that story, essentially almost died at 19 years old from their wonderful, fabulous, horrific quality, socialized, government-controlled health care. And um, so, uh, you know, you can go back way back when and hear that story maybe a couple of times. Uh, and so I want to thank uh, Karen. I also want to thank um, George Russell. Uh, and I'm doing this in, 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 uh, before my husband <laughs> because, um, and I know my husband will understand, George, without George, I wouldn't be here because he was on, after I came out of that second uh, show with Karen, he jumped out and said, oh my God, in a nutshell, uh, you need a radio show. And I said, uh, 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 I don't. And well, within three months, I did. And I was once a week, a year later, I was twice. And then uh, the third year, I was three days a week where I am now. And it has just been an amazing thing. And so thank you too, to my husband, Lance, for his patience and support because, oh my Lord, <laughs> talk about a basket case over the last four years. I want to also thank uh, y'all, anybody uh, listening on it, right, for joining me, whether you've just joined, you've been following for four years, three years, two years, or even one year, whether it's four days, three days, two days, or one day. I am grateful. I am grateful because, you know, that is what it's all about is to um, provide awareness. And that's what I've tried to do in my own little way. And uh, so I do want to let y'all know that I'm not going away. Okay, I absolutely am not going away. And you never know what the future holds. And it's just a joy, an absolute joy and honor to have gotten to do this for the last four years. I want to tell you that because I think it's so important that as many people speak up, speak out um, for our nation. As you all know, I have a son serving and I'm just um, horrified as to the direction of this country. Yeah, yeah, you're going to say, what the heck, What? no problem. But there is a problem here, I'm going to tell you. And because uh, I have lived all over the world and I know there's no place like home. There is no place like America. And so with that all said, I'm just going to tell y'all, I am going to stay in the fight wherever that is. And you know what I'd ask you to do is, uh, hey, do the texting that I I, I suggest every, uh, you know, show is text me at that number that I don't know in my, off my uh, howdy, and you'll know what's going on with me. You can go to my website or Facebook page and you'll know. And with that all said, I just want to thank you all for listening in. Thank you, Art, for your assistance uh, sporadically over the four years because it's been, wow, we've been all over the place here too, as it tends to be in business. And, um, you know, with that said, I want to thank you all again for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. Clock TV.